yeah, I don't think this is ever going to end. It's absolutely disgusting how easily those in charge of this planet are able to manipulate the media to cover up their evil agendas. They've set up new cellular infrastructure that is causing damage to all living beings on this planet. They dismiss all of the truths as conspiracy theories and label people as crazy. You know what's really crazy? Morons believing the dozens of explanations they need to make for what's going on in the world. And, uh, uh, the bees are dying because of the hornets and invasive species. Uh, the birds are falling out of the sky because of a mysterious illness. Uh, the tigers are getting sick because the virus transferred to the tigers from the humans. <laughs> like, really? The perfect quote for this from Mark Twain is, it's easier to fool people than to convince them that they have been fooled. And I don't even know if that quote's correct because there's no point in even trying to convince people anymore. You can't convince anyone once they've been fooled, at least in this day and age. It's comical how people believe these dozens of lies plastered in the media as opposed to one simple explanation from a more intelligent person who has nothing to gain. One simple explanation. Electric and magnetic fields from cell towers and various telecommunication infrastructure is damaging us with non-native frequencies, aka they're frying us like chickens with antennas. What I can't stand is the painfully obvious media blitzes. I've literally seen at least a dozen articles of this BS over the past day, and I'm sure there's going to be another dozen by the time I post this video. The media is really making sure everyone knows that the reason the bees are dying is because of the hornets. Back now with what's called murder hornets, reported in the U.S. for the first time. Here's ABC's Zoreen Shah. Tonight, killer hornets invading the U.S. and Canada. Asian giant hornets, also known as murder hornets, spotted in Washington state, and they prey on honeybees that pollinate much of our food. If the bees go, we go. So uh, they pollinate one in three pieces of food we eat. So we have to protect these little guys. These hornets grow up to two inches long, roughly five times the size of a bee. And in Japan, where they originate, they reportedly kill up to 50 people each year. They're giant stingers capable of piercing a beekeeper's suit. The mandibles, there we go, you can sort of see them, are pretty large. Um, they're very, very sharp. I mean, that's what they use to decapitate bees, and then they'll mash up the thorax into a, into a meatball, they call it, and fly it back to feed to their larvae. The hornets can destroy an entire beehive in a matter of hours. And Tom, beekeepers keeping an extra close eye on their beehives tonight. Experts desperately trying to track down those dangerous hornets and stop them before they kill off much of the bee population. I don't want to entertain or discuss anything in these dog shit news articles because that is precisely what they are. Absolute dog shit. The question to answer is, why are they pushing two main points? The decimation of bees and also that the bees can harm humans. The first one is fairly obvious, you know, there are many reports of bees dropping dead around newly put up cell towers. Even studies confirm that the radiation from cell towers affects bees. So how do you hide that from the public and keep them from questioning this new infrastructure? Just introduce an invasive hornet species that wouldn't actually wipe out the population so that when the towers do start mysteriously wiping out bees, you have nothing to blame. I'm sure you can look at wherever these hornets originated from and see if there are honeybees there. I'm sure there are. You know, this doesn't make any sense. Just like when people start dry coughing, getting headaches, fatigue, and many symptoms that are not from any virus we know of, you can brainwash and gaslight the public to believe it is from a virus that can manifest itself in pretty much any way whatsoever. Hung yourself with the rope? It was the virus. Suicide by two gunshot wounds to the back of the head? Definitely a virus. Smoked for 80 years and died of lung cancer? Sounds like a virus. Yep, the average person is too naive and gullible for us to stand a chance against this controlled media without fighting for it. And are naive and gullible really the proper words to use when the media has been actively participating in a massive psychological warfare operation on the population as long as we've known? This falls in line with their agenda to control the food supply and starve us into communism, globalism, whatever you want to call it. Kill all the bees so they can't pollinate crops to increase their yield. Certain grains don't need pollination, but most fruits, vegetables, nuts, foods that are much healthier, more nutritious compared to grains, do require bee pollination. 
They used the virus as an excuse to shut down meat plants. Now they will say that the bee population is dying, so you're literally forced to eat slop and gruel. Your diet is deprived of animal nutrition, B vitamins, omega fatty acids, so you become a mindless, reactive slave that is sheepish in nature. Then they take away the antiscorbutic properties and small amounts of minerals found in fresh fruits, vegetables, you know, the fats and the nuts. What little was left nutritionally, all gone. Your diet will be nothing besides calories from grains, no nutrition, no vitamins. Your mind and body will decay into illness, cancer, immune diseases, a perfect position to be scared into submissive slavery and not the not the good fairy boy kind of submissive slavery. This leads to the fear mongering that these bees kill humans. They've created all this panic and hysteria around the current virus that is actually less deadly than the seasonal flu. Again, as we know, those who control the media control the people. If you tell a lie enough times, it becomes the truth. If you scare the living hell out of people and get them to think they're gonna die and the world might end, they won't really care too much about all the other things you're doing to them. Taking away their jobs, investments, livelihood, freedom, ability to do what they want, make them sit in their homes like caged rats. The saddest part about this is people are asking for it. They want to be locked up like a bunch of sissy la la boys for their safety. Yeah, I'd rather go jump off a bridge to be honest. There was a post on Reddit the other day about YouTube taking down certain videos and people were cheering on the mass censorship of anything against the mainstream agenda. Now, I'm inclined to believe the posts were fake and, you know, shills trying to promote the hive mind get people to think it's okay to think like that, but part of me thinks there are a large percentage of people that are oh so quick to dismiss any outside information as conspiracies and crazy talk, but they'll believe every single fake news story as long as it's the hive mind, what everyone is agreeing upon. And I'm sure you guys know why that is, but I might as well say it. People want the easy way out. Once you start questioning stuff, you know, once you start realizing the truth going on in this world, your life becomes a lot more difficult. You have to make other decisions. You have to do things that a lazy person doesn't want to do. Yeah, of course. I like to sit in my home, follow a standard American diet, eat crap all day, not exercise, get blasted by radiation, watch TV all day. That's what they want you to do. They want you to be a part of that system. And most people are happy being a part of that system as opposed to working hard and doing the right thing. So we have the bee deaths being blamed on these hornets, but guess what else? Mystery virus that spreads with close proximity is causing hundreds of lorikeets to drop out of the sky in Australia. Lorikeet paralysis syndrome has killed hundreds of birds in across Australia. Experts say the disease spreads when the birds gather in large numbers. It paralyzes the birds until they suffocate or are eaten by ants or predators. Experts warn people not to feed the birds to slow the spread of the virus. Virus causing lorikeets to drop out of the sky resurfaces in southeast Queensland. Yeah, that's probably because the new cell towers you guys set up are in southeast Queensland and are emitting 60 gigahertz new Wi-Fi technology that is attacking oxygen molecules and the birds can't breathe. We'll know our disinformation program is complete when everything the American public believes is false. William Casey, CII Director, 1981. The average person will not be able to comprehend that the world is run by secret groups of people, and these people directly influence and control government agencies, CIA, FBI, every single government agency, every single one is ran by these people. Even the most aware person won't believe the evils truly going on in this world. They pale in comparison to locking us in prisons and frying us with cell towers. I want to apologize to you guys that all I seem to be focusing on lately is what's going on right now. Although most of you prefer that over the nutrition content at this point in time. And I've said several times, you know, there's no point in talking about nutrition, fitness, and health if everyone is getting microwaved and they're posting articles like this. It's pretty sad that, you know, the mainstream influencers that have all these platforms, no one has talked about this. No one in the, you know, the carnivore community, you know, all these vegans, all of these influencers, all these people are siding with the mainstream and taking it as truth. And, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm one of the few people that chose the right path and uh, it'll all work out in the end. So thank you guys for joining me today. 
uh, you know, check out everything down in the description. Please sign up to my newsletter at frank and uh, I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.